find the image of the point 3 comma 8 with respect to the line x plus 3y is equal to 7 assuming the line to be a plane mirror let us understand and analyze the problem we are given a point with coordinates 3 comma 8 and a line with equation x plus 3y is equal to 7 let us denote this given point as a and the given line as line l according to the problem we are to consider point a as an object and line l as a plane mirror we are to find the image of point object a formed by plane mirror l let us discuss some facts about image formation by a plane mirror first if the object and mirror are at rest not moving then image will be formed at a fixed position so from wherever an observer observes he will find a not moving image for a not moving object let us consider the image point in this question is the point B and point C is the point of intersection of line segment AB and the mirror line L. Let us assume that coordinates of image point B are A comma B and the coordinates of point C are X1 comma Y1. So, we can conclude that in this question, image of point object A will be formed at a point B. Second fact, for an image formed in a plane mirror, the distance of image from the mirror is equal to the distance of object from the mirror. Or we can say that object distance AC is equal to image distance BC. Third fact. For a plane mirror, line segment joining the object and image is perpendicular to the mirror. So, we can say that line segment AB is perpendicular to the line L. So, let us start solution using these facts in mind. We know that line segment AC is equal to the line segment BC. So, we can say that C is the midpoint of AB. Now, we can find the coordinates of point C in terms of coordinates of points A and B using the section formula. Let us discuss the section formula in this question. Let us consider a line segment joining the points P and Q where coordinates of point P are X1 and Y1 and coordinates of point Q are X2 and Y2. Let M is the midpoint of line segment PQ. Then, according to the section formula, X coordinate of M is equal to X1 plus X2 whole divided by 2 and Y coordinate of point M will be equal to Y1 plus Y2 whole divided by 2. So, using section formula, in this question, we can say that x1 is equal to a plus 3 whole divided by 2 and y1 is equal to b plus 8 
whole divided by 2. We will see these results as equation number 1 and equation number 2 respectively. Let us consider the point C. Point C lies on the line L. This implies that coordinates of the point C are one of the solutions of equation of line L. Since x1 and y1 are coordinates of point C and x plus 3y is equal to 7 is the equation of line L. So, x1, y1 must satisfy the equation x plus 3y is equal to 7. Or mathematically you can say that x1 plus 3y1 is equal to 7. By substituting the values of x1 and y1 in the above equation, we will get a plus 3 whole divided by 2 plus thrice of b plus 8 whole divided by 2 is equal to 7. It can be written as a plus 3 plus thrice of b plus 8 whole divided by 2 is equal to 7. Here 2 in the denominator can be transferred to the right hand side and we will get a plus 3 plus thrice of b plus 8 is equal to 7 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 14. So we will get a plus 3 plus thrice of b plus 8 is equal to 14. On expanding the terms we will get a plus 3 plus 3b plus 24 is equal to 14 or you can say a plus 3b plus 27 is equal to 14. 14 can be transferred from right hand side to left hand side and it will become a plus 3b plus 27 minus 14 is equal to 0 and finally we will get a plus 3b plus 13 is equal to 0. We can save this relation as equation number 3. Now consider the second fact which is line segment AB is perpendicular to the line L. Mathematically we can say that multiplication of the slope of line segment AB and slope of line L will give the result minus 1. Now let us discuss the slope formula for a line segment PQ. Let us consider a line segment with its endpoints P and Q. The coordinates of P are x1 and y1 and coordinates of Q are x2 and y2. According to the slope formula, slope of the line segment PQ will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So using this relation, this slope formula, we can say that slope of the line segment AB must be equal to B minus 8 upon A minus 3. So we have found the slope of line segment AB. Now slope of the line L can be found after converting the equation of this line in slope intercept form. Let us discuss the slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is an equation of the line which is y is equal to mx plus c where y and x are arbitrary points and m is the slope of the corresponding line. Equation of line L is e x plus 3y is equal to 7. So it can be rewritten in the slope intercept form as y is equal to minus 1 by 3 
multiplied by x then plus 7 upon 3 on comparing this equation with y is equal to mx plus c we can say that the value of m is equal to minus 1 by 3 so slope of the line l is equal to minus 1 by 3 now we know that slope of line segment ab multiplied by the slope of line l is equal to minus 1 because line segment ab is perpendicular on the line l so using this relation we can say that b minus 8 upon a minus 3 which is slope of line segment ab multiplied by minus 1 by 3 it is slope of the line l is equal to minus 1 it can be written as minus of whole b minus 8 whole divided by 3 multiplied by whole a minus 3 is equal to minus 1 or negative sign can be eliminated from either sides so we will get b minus 8 whole divided by thrice of whole a minus 3 is equal to 1 then it is b minus 8 is equal to thrice of whole a minus 3 then b minus 8 is equal to 3a minus 9 then we will get b minus 3a minus 8 plus 9 is equal to 0 and then we will get b minus 3a plus 1 is equal to 0 and finally it is 3a minus b minus 1 is equal to 0 we can save this result as equation number 4 let us consider the equation 3 and 4 once again these are the linear equations in two variables a and b in order to find the values of a and b we will solve these linear equations by equating coefficient or you can say by elimination method the coefficient of variable a in fourth equation is 3 we will multiply the number 3 to the third equation and we will get a new form of equation which is 3a plus 9b plus 39 is equal to 0 we will save this result as equation number 5 now the coefficient of variable a in third equation is 1 we will multiply 1 to the fourth equation and again we will get a new form of equation that is 3a minus b minus 1 is equal to 0 we will save this result as equation number 6 by subtracting equation 6 from equation 5 we will get 3a plus 9b plus 39 minus whole 3a minus b minus 1 is equal to 0 on expanding the terms we will get 3a plus 9b plus 39 minus 3a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 and then it is 10b plus 40 is equal to 0 so 10b is equal to minus 40 and finally we will get b is equal to minus 4 by substituting b is equal to minus 4 in equation number 3 we will get a plus thrice of minus 4 plus 13 is equal to 0 it is a minus 12 plus 13 is equal to 0 and then it is a plus 1 is equal to 0 and then we will get a is equal to minus 1 so we have found that values of a is equal to minus 1 and b is minus 4 so in this way we can say that coordinates of image point b of point object a 
आर माइनस वन एंड माइनस फोर 